Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to do Excel chapter 2 cumulative furniture. Says basically, this is the second chapter of Excel section of my IT lab course. This is the newly introduced course in uh, 2022. I will do this assignment step by step, and you can get your assignment done by watching this video. If you want me to do this assignment for you, or if you want me to do this complete course for you, including Excel assignments, Word assignments, PowerPoint assignments, or Access assignments, you can contact me on WhatsApp, email, or WeChat ID mentioned in the description of this video. My email and WhatsApp is showing at the bottom of the screen as well. You can hire me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance, information technology, computer sciences, all other writing assignments, all other programming assignments, statistics and mathematics, etc. So let's start this assignment and solve this assignment step by step so that you can get your assignment done by watching this video. Title of the assignment is EXP 22 Chapter 2 Cumulative Cotton Furniture. This is the second chapter in Excel section of my IT lab course. At start of the instruction, you can see the project description. This one. Basically, this project description has nothing to do with the uh, assignment, but you can read this to get an idea about the assignment. I will suggest you to have a reading to this project description so that you can understand this assignment. But main part of the assignment are these steps from step 1 up to step 21. So we will solve these steps to get this assignment done. So first step of the assignment is start excel start excel download and open the file name exp22 excel chapter 2 cumulative furniture sales grader has automatically added your last name to the beginning of the file name so this is the excel workbook that we are supposed to download from the pearson dashboard and you can download this from your my IT lab dashboard and this is the file where we will apply all the steps to get this assignment done and make this assignment in the final form for the submission So we will move to step number two because step number one is just about downloading the file. So let's do step number two now. And step number two is in insert a function in cell C3 to display the current date and ensure that the format is set as long date. So basically we are supposed to insert a current date and then we will format that current date as the long date. And we will do this in cell C3 using a function. So we will simply go to cell C3. This is C3 and we are supposed to insert a current date. And that we can use by using the two day function. So we will click on the formula tab and go to date and time and look for two day function. This one. So you can see that it is showing the current date that is 27th of July 2023 and now we are supposed to make this current date as a long date. So now we will click on the home tab and we will make it as a long date from here. So when we will make it long date it will show us the weekday then the date. So it is formatted as long date now. So this is all about step number two where we were supposed to insert the current date. 
So step number two is done and now we will move to next step that is step number three. Step number three is set column C width to auto fit. So now we are supposed to make the column C as auto fit. So simply go to the Excel sheet and double click here and it is auto fit now. So we have made the column C as auto fit now. So we have solved two, three steps. Now we will do step number four. Insert a function in cell D11 to display the item name based on the provided inventory lookup information in the range B24 up to D29. B24, this one up to D29, this one. This one. So we are supposed to display the item names. Then it is saying that be sure to use the appropriate absolute cell referencing and the function returns the exact match. Copy the function from the cell D11 down to D19 to complete the column D. So, so now basically we are supposed to display the item names in column D. And these item name based on the provided inventory lookup information. So these are the lookup information. So we will show the item names based on their SQU values. This one. This one. We are supposed to show these item names in column D using the lookup function. So for this we are supposed to use a lookup function. So we will simply go to the formulas tab. And you can see lookup and reference formulas are, are here. So simply click this one and look for the lookup function. And you can see that this is here. So now our lookup value is this one. So and our table array is given that is B24 up to D29. D29 and column index. No column index will be 2 because in the table array description is the second column. Description is the second column. So I will simply type 2 here and it should be exact match. So I will type false here. So this will be the final formula and you can see that for 294211 it is showing the leather sectional. So this is the item name. So we have created a formula using the lookup function. Now we are supposed to copy the function down to the column up to D19. So I will simply, I can simply use the autofill. So let me compare these values now. Let me look for this one. 306862 306862 this one 306862 and it should be entertainment center you can see that it is entertainment center so 643081 643081 it is dining table and you can see that it is dining table 643081 so we have used a lookup function to show the item name based on the inventory information given in the range from B4 up to D29. So we are done with this step and we have shown the item names based on these inventory information. So now I will move to next step that is step number 5.
स्टेप नंबर फाइव इज इन सर्ट ऑफ फंक्शन इन सेल एफ अलेवन टू डिस्प्ले द आइटम प्राइस बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोवाइडेड इन्वेंट्री लुक ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सो इट इज सेइंग दैट इन सर्ट ऑफ फंक्शन इन सेल एफ अलेवन टू डिस्प्ले द आइटम प्राइस बेस्ड ऑन द इन्वेंट्री इंफॉर्मेशन सो इन स्टेप नंबर फोर वी वर सपोज टू डिस्प्ले द आइटम नेम्स दिस वन बेस्ड ऑन द इन्वेंट्री इंफॉर्मेशन बट इन दिस स्टेप we are supposed to display the item price so item price is the third column in the inventory look up inventory information range that is called table array this is the third column and now we are supposed to show these prices so it is saying that be sure to use the appropriate absolute cell referencing and the function returns an exact match copy the function from f11 down through the f19 to complete column map so this is uh, we will again use the lookup for, uh, formula or uh, the lookup function as we used in step number 4 only the difference is in step number 4 we were supposed to display the item names but now we are supposed to display the item prices so we are supposed to use this uh, lookup formula in f11 So we will simply move to F11, this one, and again we are supposed to use the lookup formula. And again, I will simply move to the formula step. This is the formula step, and again lookup references and look for the lookup formula or lookup function here. This one. So our lookup value will be SQU column. That is C11 because. these information as matching to the table array so i will use c11 as a lookup value for this one and the table array will be table array is the inventory information that is b24 up to d29 column index so now you can see that the inventory information at table array has three columns sku description and prices so now we are going to show the prices so our column index will be price column that is third one so i will type third one and it is showing that it should be an exact match so for exact match we always type false so now you can see that for 29 4 to 11 and leather section price should be Thirteen hundred ninety nine. You can see that two nine four two double one leather sectional price is thirteen hundred ninety nine. So we have shown this, and now we are supposed to copy this formula down to the column to get the other values. So we got the values for this one. But uh, let me compare. Let me look for this one. So you can see that six four three zero eight one six four three zero eight one has a price of five ninety nine, and you can see six hundred. But when we will change it to two decimal places, it will be five ninety nine. So we are done with step number five. So I am showing you this assignment step by step, and you can do this assignment on your own. But if you want to do this assignment. If you want me to do this assignment, my WhatsApp and email is showing at the bottom of the screen. Contact me, and I will do this course for you. So let's move to step number six now. Step number six is saying that apply currency format to column F. So now we are supposed to apply the currency format to this column F. This is the column F, and we are simply supposed to apply the currency format. So I will select the currency format from here, and I have applied the currency format. to this column f so we are done with six steps so far so let's move to next step that is step number 7 so step number 7 is insert an if function 
in cell G11 to calculate the total due. So now we are supposed to calculate the total due in cell G11. So we are using a if function. So there will be two conditions for this if function. So first condition is if the customer has chosen delivery column E is equal to yes, mean if the customer is taking it as delivery, mean it is yes, then there is an additional delivery charges located in L11. So L11 is where is L11? So additional delivery charges are here. That is 75. This one, 75 dollars. If the item is not delivered, the total due is price. Be sure to use appropriate sir, appropriate relative and absolute sir, references. Copy the function in cell. So we are supposed to calculate the total due here. So we will simply type an equal sign and if function because we are supposed to use an if function here and click on this insert function symbol so that we can put the function arguments. So logical test is if E is equal to yes. So we will type if E is equal to yes. That means if the customer is taking their delivery, then the price will be E11. Sorry, if E11 is equal to yes, then the price will be the base price, this one that is F11 plus the additional charges. That is L11. As mentioned in the instruction, there is an additional delivery charges located in cell L11. So I am simply showing that if customer is taking the delivery, if it means E11 is equal to yes, then the price will be price plus L11. Otherwise, it will be only equal to price. That is the F11. So now you can see that. The first customer is taking the delivery, so there is an additional charges. So we are supposed to copy this formula down to the column, then I can show you the comparison for this one. So now you can see this one. This customer is not taking the delivery, so price will be equal to the price that is the base price 468 and you can see that this is the 468. So yet this one that is the Higgs. It is not taking the delivery, so price will be again 468, 468. So this one is no, mean there is no delivery charges, so price will be the base price that is 600. But let me look for a, this one. Mean Lee is taking the delivery, mean E is equal to yes, then 468 plus 75, it will be this one. This one, so it is now giving the correct value because we were supposed to use L11 as the absolute uh, reference, so now it is giving us the correct values. So we are done with this step. That is step number 7 and now I will do next step that is step number 8. Step number 8 is we are supposed to apply the currency formula to column G. So we will simply select this column G and we are supposed to apply the currency formula to this column. So we have completed 8 step out of 19 steps, so that is almost half of this assignment. Step number 9 is, inside the function in C, 
cell I11 to calculate the first customer monthly payment. Using the appropriate cell, uh, appropriate relative and absolute cell references, place the minus place a minus sign to left of the present value argument so that the function returns a positive result. Copy the formula down to the column. So basically, in this step, we are supposed to calculate the monthly payment, and we can calculate this monthly payment by using the EMT function. And we will make sure that monthly payment should be a positive value. For this, we will use a negative sign before the present value. So we will move to I11, and we are supposed to use the monthly payment function. We can use from here our type PMT, and it will show the monthly payment function. So now start this function symbol rate. So interest rate is given here. This one. NPR is given here. Present value is also given. So interest rate will be divided by the number of month. This one. And NPR will be this one multiply by the years. So total years are this one, and present value is given here. And we will type. Minus sign before this one, so we will get the monthly payment for this one. So now we are supposed to copy this function down to the column. So I will simply copy this down to the column, and we will get all the monthly payment functions for this one. So basically, I have completed nine complete step in this assignment, and for the remaining steps, I will just give you an overview, and I will show you the final version for this assignment. So that you can complete those steps on your own, but if you want me to do this assignment for you, or if you want me to do this complete course for you, you can contact me on WhatsApp or email showing at the bottom of the screen, and you can hire me to do this complete course for you. Let me show you the final version for this assignment now. So this is the final version for this assignment. So when you will apply all the remaining steps, then you will get a final version like this. So I have completed this assignment hundreds of the time, but if you want me to do this assignment for you, or if you want me to do this complete course for you, you can hire me for this course, including Excel assignments, Word assignments, PowerPoint assignments, or any other assignment. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will get back to you with another video. Thank you so much again.